Hello guys and welcome back. So in this video now, let's draw some more formatting, alright? So I understand we have stayed uh, too long in this chat screen, but uh, we need to make sure everything is right once again, okay? Because once we are done with this chat screen with all the features, we will be, we will be also like uh, about 80 or 70% done in the group chats, okay? Because what we are doing here is uh, we are doing both methods. The same widgets we are creating, every, every method is going to be reused in the group chats, okay? So the more I look at this, I see that we need to do more. So before we, we proceed, let's also do some more changes here. First of all, I want to make this widget just one widget, the one that we can use either this or this, but we can just make it one. And then also here, let's add some more animations here, okay? Even this widget, let's put the whole entire message here, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So first of all, the first thing that we're going to start with is uh, this widget, okay? So let me minimize and then let me move this one this side again. Now the my message widget is uh, inside this chat list. We are calling that one down uh, here. All right. We are calling my message widget and then we are also calling contact message widget. All right. So here what I want to do is just to remove the necessary things that we don't need. Okay. Because what to, one thing we know is in our chat application, we are going to have a lot of modern features and features, a lot of features that we we will have, okay? So let's uh, make this code more readable and then uh, also just uh, to factorize, to reformat it, okay? So let's go on. So here, the first thing that I, I noticed is... Uh, we are calling where is my okay here is our, our my message widget here we are calling is me so this is me we can just pass it here okay we can pass is is me and then we can also pass uh, uh, the variable the boolean to view only or to swipe because one thing that i want is we to use this message widget here and also to reuse it when we hold we want to reuse it to show it even here this same widget okay so to do that is uh first of all i'm going to go inside this my message widget let's minimize that so here we are passing a message we are passing on a, a right swipe so let's also pass a required this is going to be a boolean so this is going to be this dot uh, let's say is view only is view only and the next uh, what else do we need to pass let's also pass the boolean is me okay required this not on one place we want to pass is me okay great so now now that we have passed these down here this swipe tool let's create it as a, a widget okay as a separate uh, widget or class so to do that first of all let's get these ones here with the final final is view only and then final is me okay now here to create this as a separate widget we we put the case here then right right click here and then we can do extract as a method so now it's going to be a method which can be put elsewhere okay so here let's name this as a what can you name it let's name it as a swipe uh, uh swipe to we can call it as swipe to widget okay swipe to widget like that okay and then let's click enter so you've seen that we have created it it's now here it's separate or even better maybe we can create it so that we can store it elsewhere in the widgets okay so let's go back control z and then instead of here we we did create a method let's create a widget okay like this so here as a widget let's name it with a cup uh, with a cup s okay swipe to uh is yes 
let's correct the spelling swipe to widget all right like that and then i'm gonna click enter so now that it's a widget we can take it out even from this class okay let's do it like that and then let's move it okay and then let's just finish it up the next thing is that now that it's a widget we can remove it even from here okay but first let's remove it because we want to make even another widget from this swipe to widget okay so this also the alignment okay so this swipe to widget has got uh, the child of this alignment okay now we also want an Im a widget which doesn't have this swipe to all right so to make that widget which doesn't have this swipe to we need to make this alignment also as another widget okay so let's do the same here let's uh, click on the light bulb and then create or again a widget okay here let's name this as a alignment okay now this let's name it the same way uh, this this the same way does my message widget okay let's name this as a my message uh, widget yeah then let's click enter so this is saying that uh, we already have this name which is this my message widget okay but because this one we are going to change it okay so this one let's rename it now as a uh, uh, let's just call it message widget okay or we can call it uh, chat bubble widget actually message widget is fine let's click enter so this we have renamed now the my message widget we only have uh, okay this one the one that we have created now we can copy this and then paste it here all right now we have uh, this new my message widget okay so now you can see that we have created two widgets this my message widget and then also so there's this my message widget and then there is that uh, swipe to widget where is that this swipe to widget okay two widgets then these widgets we are using them here now okay now uh, the reason why we created these two is uh, we want to go to uh, let's see first let me I'm lost here okay so here we have the swipe to widget and then inside the swipe to widget here uh, inside this swipe to widget we have uh, this my message widget where is it called so this is the swipe to widget it's returning the my message widget okay so now uh, I, because I don't want to get lost so let me remove this swipe to widget I'm going to copy it and then create it here on the widgets okay let's create a new file let's name it as it swipe to this is going to be swipe to widget dot dot okay now here we need to import the material package material uh, let's do flutter material uh, anyway let's just paste it to import it from this okay we click here and then let's import it and then also let's import this let's import the swipe to widget let's import the my message widget okay this one let's not import it now because we are also moving it from where it is okay so now that we have imported this we can go back to my message widget it's previously known as my message widget this which is renamed okay don't forget that we renamed this from my message widget okay so let's also rename it from here okay so here let's uh, rename it i hope you guys don't won't get lost in these changes that we're making and then i'm going to rename it now this even here is called message widget okay so the swipe to we have created a widget so let's remove it from here and then let's import it let's also now create the widget for my message widget okay let's cut all of this we're gonna cut it from here and then here let's create again 
my so this is going to be my message widget okay a dot dot uh, let's paste that and then all we have to do is just to import all of this material package uh, this one let's import this also let's import the display message type let's import yeah everything is imported now we are going to go to my message widget and then just remove all of these okay the ones that we are not using so you can see now that my message widget is smaller and now you can easily read this you know that it retains a swipe to widget okay great so now the next thing to do is we are going to go first we are going to also create this uh, uh, contact message widget where is that contact message widget so this one the only thing that we will create is we will remove uh, this swipe to okay so what we'll do is just to remove this swipe to remove that now it's retain it's retaining the alignment okay and then uh, this swipe to we don't need it now okay so let's remove it it's the same way that my message widget is you can see that here we don't need the swipe to but we have these okay the is replying and uh, what did what is the new thing is replying and time and message okay so what do we have here we have message and then also we need to have is replying because uh, this also has the is replying uh, variable which is this one okay okay here we don't even need to pass it we are uh, and but why are we sending it even here let's see my message my message widget the is the is replying why are we sending it We don't need to send this is replying as well okay so the same way we are reading it uh, from here okay either we pass it or we just read it because you see the is replying we are reading it from the message okay which is what we are passing here all right so if we are passing a message so we don't need to pass this uh, swipe because now we are not swiping this is just a widget okay so even here this is replying we don't need to pass it okay the is replying we are going to get it from uh, uh, the same way we are getting it here okay we are getting it from the message you can see okay so let's copy that and then here in my message widget let's also get it from the message okay let's get it there and then which means we don't need to pass it here all right let's remove that great the error is gone even here let's remove that swipe to okay so now uh, just follow me carefully we have the contact message widget which is simpler now it's only have an alignment it doesn't have a swipe to okay and also we have my message widget which doesn't have a swipe to okay it only has an alignment okay so these two are just exactly the same but in this one you can see that uh, even the time the sender name all of these we are getting uh, from the message which is exactly anyway the same thing that we need to do let's copy these and then let's put them here we don't need to pass that that time okay let's paste it so here we don't even need to pass this time and then uh, format let's just import that package okay so the sender name here we don't need it so this time we don't need to pass it okay so it's just this these classes are the or similar okay so now we have my message widget and contact message widget separately and then we have a message widget which retains the swipe to now what the actual now is happening inside here inside here that's where we will check if this is my message we will show in my message widget if this is a not my message we'll show the contact message so here is where now we will check okay here let's have a check so what we'll check is if is me okay if is me okay it's already checking but let's do our own code if is me 
we are going to do what we are going to check again if it is read only okay so first we'll check if it is me and then if it is me again let's check is view only so if it is view only what we want to check is my mess okay now copyright has got it so if it is me all right that's it and then if it is view only what we will show is my message widget which doesn't have the swipe to, okay so i'm going to click tab and explain all of this all right so if it is me i will check first of all i'll check if it is my message then after i know that it's my message i will check the boolean is it a view only okay if it's a view only i'm going to put my message widget because i know that this one does not require the swiping okay it's just a view only because this is what requires me to swipe but if i long press here this is a view only this one we don't need to swipe it okay so that's the reason why we are sending the view on so let's import this we are going to import that but as we have figured that we don't need time and re is replying let's remove that we only need to pass a message okay so here if it is view only we are going to show my message widget if it is not view only we are going to show this swipe to widget which has even this inside okay and then else if else again now if it is not me we are going to show that contact message okay great so even here we are checking if it is view only we are going to show this and then if it is not view only again we are going to show this okay i hope you understand what is going on here all right so that's how we we just check here all right so inside the, this method the swipe to widget here let's go inside the swipe to widget so here inside the swipe widget we can see that uh, we have the my message widget okay but we don't want to show only this even here now we are going to check if it is me it's going to be uh, my message and then if it is not me we are going to have uh, that uh, other widget okay so i hope uh, this is clear okay uh, here so what we need to do is just to put uh, to import this okay so we need to import this and then we know we don't need all of this time and is replying okay but here in this widget also there is a replying i mean is the swipe to widget so what's going on here okay it's closed so this swipe to widget also we need to know what is this widget which is here okay so which means also we need to pass the is me here so that we can show the correct widget even here all right so here let's say required uh is me okay and then if it is me so if it's me we will show this we know that and then in the else uh, we are going to show that so let's just get the is me here great so now here this we know that we don't need to pass this okay here we just need to pass to to pass uh, the message and is me i mean the on on swipe right because this mess this or right, right, we need the message okay because uh yeah uh, let's us here it's a swipe to and then required this dot message because we are passing the message here all right let's import that so now i hope this is clear what we have done let me go through it again we have created one widget which is my message widget this one this one uh, is going to check if it is me so here we you, you know let's minimize that here you know that we don't need this okay? we just need a message and a swipe to so why is it giving a oh we need the message the swipe to and the is me all right even here we just need the is me so we don't need this yeah so what we have done let me uh, i'm going through it again 
we have created the one widget which is called message widget inside this widget we are passing message on swipe on swipe right view only and is me here we are checking in this widget if it is me we are going also to check if it is view on if it is view on we are going to show this my message widget which is this one which doesn't have a swipe functionality it's just a widget for the right side for this side okay great so and then if it is not a view only we are going to show this swipe to widget which is now this swipe to widget which has a swipe to functionality okay which is this one the view only message the alignment my message widget that is used here okay the swipe to message is the swipe to widget is used here so that we can able to swipe okay great so uh, we check that and then we show like what i've explained and then next we check if it is not us or again we check the view only either we show this contact message or we show so I swipe to okay and then in the swipe to we pass again is me so that when we get to is me widget to the swipe to widget we can check we can also display the correct alignment either is me our message or contact message okay i hope that's clear so now we can go back in the chat list and then th this message this widget that we have created let's pass what we need to pass here so if we go to this widget which is here we are passing message on swipe right is view only and is me okay so we are passing this message which is element this is a swipe right and then next we are passing is view only which is uh, here it's on this one it, this is going to be true oh no this is going to be false okay and then now uh, we are also passing is me which is this one that we have up here is me great now the error is gone and then now the next thing is since now this my message widget handles everything which means we don't need this second one here okay so but this second one we know that there were these uh, yeah, reactions have got different positions okay so what we'll do is here on the position also here we are going to check before we set the position for this message okay we are going to check if is me the position is going to be four in the else the position is going to be this position which is here okay which is a zero okay so even here on the right side we'll do the same is me the position is going to be 90 in the else is going to be 250 okay because this what is here all right great and then the padding you know that we've got we had padding one and uh, padding two the ones that we created here so maybe also here let's just put eight uh, eight point zero but even here we'll do the same for the padding if is me we are going to have padding one okay else we are going to have padding two which is padding two. So now that we have handled all the cases, all we need to do is this tack which is down here is to remove it. Okay, is to remove this tack. I'm going to delete it. So you guys can comment it if you want it to be there for your reference. And then here we are not going to check if it is me. We are just going to go to show this stack directly show that stack and then let's just put a uh, comma there okay we need to put uh, close it out so that's how we have handled both cases with just this widget okay now let's just give it a try i'm going to hot restart you can see that we still have the same results okay you can see that we still have the same result but uh, yeah the result is just the same yeah we shouldn't have any problems now we only have one widget which handles everything here okay either this message and this message because inside here which is here it's there is a lot of checks and then it gets inside here we have some checks also so this is being formatted 
so in the next video let's keep this video short so in the next one we are going now to work on this one again all right thank you guys and see you in the next video